Should you leave your Oculus Quest charging all of the time? A lot of people have very strong opinions on this, and with Anchor launching a Quest 2 charging station, you might be asking yourself, does it really damage your battery to leave it plugged in, or are you fine leaving it charging and ready to go when you need it? First, let's make one thing clear. Leaving your Oculus Quest charging isn't dangerous. Your Quest most likely isn't going to explode, but I'll avoid saying that definitively because of what happened to Samsung phones a few years back. Assuming your Quest doesn't have a defective battery like those phones did, it is safe to leave it charging all of the time. The only way I could see it being a real concern is if the device were active while charging for several days at a time. That's a very unlikely scenario, and even then, the worst that will happen is your device will get pretty warm, but definitely not hot enough to damage it or anything around it. Built into computer processors are safeguards that prevent them from overheating to the point of damaging itself. But the processor isn't what most people are worried about when they tell you not to leave your headset plugged in. What they're worried about is the battery being damaged, losing some of its longevity due to the charging current that keeps getting pumped into the battery, thus damaging it. This used to be an issue with older batteries and it would cause the battery to wear out significantly over time. You see, batteries do wear out over time, there's no getting around that, and heat and high charging voltage cause them to wear out much quicker than it otherwise would. This is why if you live in a hot place like Arizona, you need to replace your car battery much more frequently than you would if you lived anywhere else. But how does this affect the Quest? You see, newer devices are much smarter with how they manage power. You may have noticed your phone charged from nothing to about 80% pretty quickly, and then after that it slows down. This is because the device is accepting less power when it's close to being full to conserve the battery's longevity. And then, once the battery hits 100%, the battery will usually stop charging within an hour or two tops on most devices. All of this is presumably true for the Quest as well, since the Quest is essentially the same as a smartphone just running Android and a mobile processor. Now, I know what you're going to say, so hold off before you start writing angry comments. Obviously, the Quest isn't a phone, but all modern devices are designed to stop charging after they're full. We have no reason to believe that this isn't true for the Quest as well, and several reasons to believe that it is in fact true. For example, if you go to the Oculus website, it talks about optimized charging, which is a vague term that they describe officially as follows. Optimized battery charging takes multiple factors into account in order to provide the best overall charging and usage experience. This means that the battery may not charge to 100% at all times while in use. That right there sounds like the Quest is regulating the charging to protect the device and provide the best possible experience, but again, it is a very vague term in description so we don't really know for sure what it's doing. Despite the optimized charging, Oculus support still recommends unplugging the device as soon as it is fully charged to prolong the life of the battery, and they're not entirely wrong. If you want to seriously take care of your phone or Oculus Quest, you should unplug it as soon as it is fully charged. Even with the safeguards in place, the only way to know for sure that you aren't damaging your battery on one of your devices is to unplug it when it is already charged. But even if leaving it charged is doing a little bit of damage to the battery, the question now is how much damage does overcharging do to the headset battery and should you really be worrying about it? Is it really doing enough damage to warrant unplugging it or is it fine if you leave it charging overnight? Well, most tech guides on the internet will tell you that most people tend to overestimate the damage being done by leaving it plugged in, especially with all of the modern safeguards in place to protect batteries from overcharging. You see, the Quest will always work. It's just a question of prolonging the battery life. Without lots of time and several headsets to test, we can't really know for sure how much damage bad charging does to the Quest, but I'd estimate that over the course of several years, you're only losing a few minutes of charge on your Oculus Quest 1 or 2. I could be wrong, but everyone I've talked to about this says that they leave their headset charging all of the time and have noticed no issues with it, even after months or even a year of use in the case of the Quest 1. Personally, I leave my headset plugged in all of the time and have noticed absolutely no loss loss of battery. Of course, that's just anecdotal evidence, but in the absence of cold hard science, that's all we have to go off of. 
Even if you do leave it plugged in all the time and lose a few minutes of battery, it really isn't that much of a problem, especially if you use a battery pack like the VR power battery that I use. This battery extends my Quest playtime up to 8 hours, and so even if I'm losing a few minutes of charge by leaving it plugged in, I'll still have plenty of power to use within the battery. I especially like my VR power battery because it is digitally optimized based on key hardware and firmware specifications to run at maximum performance under all conditions. I'll leave a link to the battery down below. So what do I recommend? Is it okay to leave it charging or should you practice healthy charging habits such as unplugging it when it is fully charged? If you really want to take care of your device, go ahead and practice good charging habits. Unplug it when it's at 100%, don't let it get down to zero, you know, all of that stuff that people tell you, go ahead and do that. But personally, I don't see the value in practicing and worrying about good charging habits if it's only going to extend my Quest battery by a couple of minutes over the course of the couple years, especially when I have an external battery pack. If you don't have a battery pack, you may feel differently about this, but I would rather have my headset always charged and ready to go so I have no problem leaving it plugged in overnight and risking a few minutes of charge. That being said, I wouldn't recommend leaving it charging for several days or longer if you don't plan on using it. For example, if I'm I'm traveling, I'll leave my headset unplugged, but otherwise, I use my headset almost every single day and so I leave it plugged in in between play sessions so it's always ready to go. So in conclusion, if it's more convenient for you to leave it plugged in, go ahead and do it. Your headset will be fine and if you do end up noticing your battery losing a bit of longevity, which would only happen after a really long time, then just go ahead and get a battery like the VR power battery linked below. It makes the experience much more comfortable and prolongs your play sessions significantly. Also, if you want to optimize your headset, you may be interested in this other video I made that you can click on in the card or in the description that talks about how often you should reboot your headset. So if you want to know another way to really take care of your headset, definitely check that out. If you've made it this far, then go ahead and subscribe and join our growing community and consider sliding into our Discord server as well. The link is in the description. But anyways, that's it. I'm out.